Rakesh here and I'm from IT University and uh, I'm associated with this channel from last six, seven months. I've been given a task to run some videos on Spark and to give a brief introduction about Spark. So guys, as you can see in this channel, we have lots of uh, playlists which mainly focus on big data Hadoop but uh, down the line we'll uh, expand it and uh, down the line you'll see more and more technologies into this ITversity which is nothing but a open source or a free university free IT online university for students for working professionals and everyone guys uh, let me give you a introduction of what spark is spark is nothing but a third generation distributed systems first dist generation distributed systems were um data second distribution generation distributed systems were hadoop or MapReduce. the third generation is of spark so guys my first video will tell you about how you can set up spark on your local desktop for you, you need not to do anything. You just have to go to this path, which is Spark, Apache Spark downloads. Over here, you can see that um, there's source code available, but I would recommend you to go for this and direct download and click here. So once you click here, you'll see that um, uh, something is loading and that is nothing but um, Spark's binaries. And get loaded onto your system. I already have the same on my system. So what I'll do is cancel it out. So on your PC, what you'll see is you'll see a binary or a .tgz file like this. You need not you need not to do anything but to extract it. And when you extract it, you'll see a folder like this. And once you get into the bin folder. You have to type cmd and spark shell. It is taking time. Yep. Yeah. So you can see that uh, it has uh, started a HTTP server uh, on a, on its own, and so as as you can see that uh, it has started uh, uh, Sparks on. Uh, uh, Sparks on uh, web based admin on my localhost 4040. So, what I'll do is I'll go here, I'll type localhost 4040, and you'd be able to see Spark over here. So, that is nothing but a Spark admin uh, on which you can see the events, what are the events which are here. So, what I'll do is, uh, as you can see, that uh, I'm able to see a Scala shell over here. So the prerequisites for uh, Spark are Java 8. I'll request you to have Maven and Scala 2.11 on your local as well. Yeah, you require Scala 2.11.7 because the same IDE you need to install. on. would see something like that the Scala home which is nothing but my Scala wineries which are over here and Java 1.8 so guys that's it so I'll run uh, our first own uh, Scala program so for that you need to type well data group 1 to 100 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So what it has done is it has uh, created a collection of data from a range from 1 to 100. Then Scala or Spark, uh, sorry, Spark works on a principle of RDDs, Resilient Distributed Data Sets. So what we do is we create RDDs and we create many more RDDs on the top of other RDDs and then we play some action on them. The main advantage of Spark is that Spark is lightning fast and it has become lightning fast because of the in-memory uh, processing of data. Is data. This data is equal to Spark context dot analyze data. So what it will do is it will create a first RDD, parallel collection RDD. And now on to on the top of this data, what I'll do is dist data dot filter less than 10. So this is nothing but a closure which I had implemented and collect. Yes, that's it. If I'll write something like that again. Yes, you can see the speed. Or if I'll say that val result is equal to something like that. So if I'll say now you can see the result. So this was your first program in Spark. In the next video, what I'll do is uh, I'll explain you how you can set up um, IDE for development in Spark.